knew that I wanted to be with this man. I knew that he was the one for me. And the thing I love about God is he has a way of gently pulling us or pushing us into the direction that we need to be. And if we give him permission, he will drag us kicking and screaming if that's what it takes. But I asked you guys in the last video a question concerning your past relationships that didn't work out. Do you see them as a success or do you see them as a failure? And I asked that question because this recent episode with me and this gentleman, when he didn't feel the same way I felt, when I poured out my heart and he did not have a return of pouring out his heart, it could have crushed me. And I could have said, I hate him. I no longer want to be his friend. I could have went through all this surge of emotion, but you know what? I decided I still love him as a friend. Um, I still desire to have him as a friend. And furthermore, God has taken this situation. And because of it, I have learned some things about me. And God has used this to hopefully encourage someone else and propel them into, you know, better for them. And again, seeing that oh, this could have been a rejection. I'm not even going to say it was a rejection because really it was God pushing me in a different direction and it was the direction that I'm trying to be in. And when I kind of thought on um, how the whole situation played out and I even began to think, you know, uh, the different things about this man that I love and that there are things that I desire that he doesn't have. So I was just like, you know, Lord, at the end of the day, you have the perfect man for me. I thought it was this man. I thought he was the man, but that's not evidently what God had for me. Not to mention, you know, um, this is, I'm saying this in love and I'm saying it not as, not as a bad thing. A lot of times when men come in our lives, we are distracted. And the reason I say that is because maybe you're on a road and when a man comes in your life, things kind of change up a little bit. Maybe you change, well, I'll do this instead to accommodate him or I'll, you know, things are kind of taking a back seat because I'm devoting all my time to him or, um, you know, things kind of shift when a man comes in the picture. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it normally happens. And right now, God has me in a place where things are popping for me. This, you know, my um, books are doing well and you know the different business ideas God has given me things are blooming in my ministry um, you know taking off and not to say that a man would not be a wonderful um, addition to my life it's just sometimes we can put we can put other things before God and what God has us doing and by cutting out this man at this particular time in my life um, it was I believe it was God bring me up to continue to do what he has me doing and again he may not be the man it may not be the time that's possible or he just may not be the man so whatever the situation whatever whatever it is God knows and ultimately us being rejected is redirecting us to God's best for us think about it we we have the master of the universe at our side we have the way maker, the way planner, the door opener, the promise keeper. We have an amazing God. And again, if you desire to be with someone, and again, most women that I know anyway, um, desire a husband. If that's what you desire, I desire a husband. But I also know that God has a purpose and a plan for me. And right now, I'm working the purpose. I'm working the plan. And a man may interfere right now. A man may come between what God has for me to do. So, you know, maybe it was, you know, this is not the time for this. Or, you know, I have something that I have you doing right now. So I'm redirecting your mind. I'm redirecting your focus to where it should be. So just because, and we're talking about relationships, just because someone has shut you down, first of all, don't take it personal. Because I can say um, it's them, not you. And, um, and I, and I can say that with confidence, it's him, it's not me. And, you know, you could say, well, what gives me the grounds to say that? Well, I know a little, I know a few things about him and I can say, I believe it's him, not me. But I can also say that I know God has something different, something better, a different plan for me as well. So 
it's kind of I guess you could say it's kind of him and it's kind of me it's kind of him because I you know know some things about him and I know he's working on himself and bettering his life and himself and I also know that God has a different plan for me and you know maybe my focus would have been all on him and not on the plan that God has for me so my point is from now on never look at rejection as rejection look at it as God placing you where you need to be placing you in a different in a different place placing you in a, a door of opportunity in front of a door of opportunity don't look at it as so negative I'm ugly he doesn't he doesn't like me don't e don't even don't even do that to yourself because um, it's a lie it's a lie straight from the pit of hell so don't even believe it just believe that um, God has something better for you and you know what at the end of it you may even say I thought I wanted this man but God gave me the man that I actually needed he gave me what I really wanted and if you were to ever sit down and write a you know a pro and cons list you would find that the man you thought you wanted really didn't have what you wanted he really didn't even have what you needed God supplied your desire and a man and he had what you needed what you wanted and it was the best plan that God had for you in your life so rejection is way of is a way of God carrying out his plan in your life and again what you think is rejection is actually him taking the situation and working it out for your good so like I said from now on don't look at your rejection as rejection look at it as God's plan for your redirection and I guarantee you when you can do that whether it be in relationships and life and work and church whatever if you can look at it in that positive light you'll gain so much more from it you'll be blessed from it and not to mention you'll be looking for and expecting God to take the situation and turn it around for something good make it so you're getting the best out of it um so, um, and I have actually tons of notes here, but I'm not going to keep going on and going on. But, um, I would encourage you guys as always to encourage the singles because I love doing it is to, um, and this year, this past year was a kind of focus on me year and I'm still focusing on me. So focus on you. God is going to bring your companion into the picture and we are we want it to be the right one so when you when you walk down the aisle that's the end of it there's there's no you know there's no divorce there's no you know of course we're gonna have marital issues because that happens in all marriages but there's not gonna be you no know, I'm leaving him and then we're back together I'm leaving her we're back to get let God put it together and let it be together and it's it stays that way so if we just give it to him Focus on you, single people. Focus on working on you and the plan that God has for you, and you'll do phenomenal things. So, thank you for watching the video. And I'm, uh, I'm promising, I'm promising that I'm going to do a video a week um, to do this relationship series. So, tune in for the video next Saturday, and I will see you guys then. All right, bye.